Hello. Some more good news this week. The, we started the building process of our new £30 million university. We cut the first sod in the ground and it's well on its way. This will produce the skills that the city needs now and in the future because we, our jobs have not kept up with the, with the skills required. So exciting, not just for Peterborough, but for the region as well. Also, we had some probably more exciting news this week with the introduction of the virus. And if I could just give you some uh, terms, and I'm going to read them so I actually get it right. Uh, teams will be contacting residents who fall into the priority groups to book appointments and you can help the NHS to deliver the programme effectively by sticking to the following advice. Teams will contact you when the time is right, so please do not contact NHS to seek a vaccine before then. Please act on your invite when it comes to make sure you attend appointments when you arrange them. Finally, please continue to abide by the social distancing, wearing face masks, hand hygiene, guidance and to control the spread of the virus. So also this week we have fully aware that there are families in this town that are struggling. We have got the winter support group from, uh, from government uh, and which provides packages that make sure that no child goes hungry and families with individuals who might be struggling with essential bills and such as utilities are supported. Food support will come via vouchers sent to families automatically using the system many schools are already using. To find out more, visit the Council's website on www.peterborough.gov.uk which will also tell you about our county-wide coordination hub which is continuing to support those in need. Heartening to see businesses and shops opening their doors again. And on that note, I'm delighted that Peterborough Museum and Art Gallery has reopened to the public. So if you need a break from Christmas shopping, do pop along. Following the news of the majority of the city libraries have reopened, so finally remind them that if you're out and about, follow the safety guidelines, wear the, fa uh, wear, wear the face mask and stick to social distancing. And of course, wash your hands thoroughly. Thank you.